What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. So Christmas came early for a bunch of us who make, you know, AI images because Midjourney just announced version 6. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about everything that is really cool about version 6. Now between version 4 and 5, these were great models and I tested them out. But when I tested them, I was like, okay, these are great. I mean, produce great images, but it didn't make me as excited as, you know, version 6 has. I have been using version 6 for the last 24 hours and producing some stunning images. And in this video, Video, I'm going to talk to you about what makes V6 really exciting and just to be clear V6 is not exactly the model that we've got it's actually V6 alpha and there are, there's a caveat here that oh maybe it's going to change by the time actual V6 come but I hope they retain whatever the good is in this model because it's amazing and the results look really good so let's jump into this video and talk about all the amazing things that is in v6 of mid journey all right, so one of the biggest features of mid journey version 6 is the prompt coherence where whatever prompt you put in each and every text in the prompt is considered when generating an image and the model is way more sensitive to the prompt actually so it's producing better results because it considers anything and everything that you put in so it's more natural language focused and you don't have to use like junk words like 4k 8k detail it kind of will not need all of that but just based on whatever you requested it'll produce results and i'm seeing some really brilliant results with that so let's look at this example where i actually generated this image of a baby and a mother sitting at a beach but see the specifics here i asked you to generate a five-year-old baby with curly blonde hair which is what we have here and wearing pink and blue shorts it actually nailed the pink and blue shorts sitting on a beach sand with a woman wearing beach clothes orange and green with sunglasses that's exactly the image of the mother and we can also see that i asked you to you know generate a beach with blue and green sea in the black and that's exactly uh, the kind of image it produced. So everything and anything that we requested it to, it seems like it produced whatever we asked it to. And it was really good. And this is a prompt if you want to reuse this, kind of change it if you want to. Here's another example where I said, okay, take uh, a man with a beard in a winter setting, holding a lit lantern walking in the woods with snow in the background. And you can see that this is exactly what we have. But here's where prompt coherence kind of comes in, right? But we are saying, okay, generate a brown, white brimmed hat. That's exactly what we have on his head. Then we are saying, okay, a jacket with a shearing collar. That's the jacket and glowing lantern lights person's face. That's exactly what's happening here. So what I'm seeing is with Mid Journey version 6 is not just the image are, you know, way more quality in terms of the, the quality of the image, the, you know, the scale, the sharpness, the colors, but the most important thing again is prompt coherence. Anything and everything that you put in the prompt is kind of considered and taken into account when generating images, which is really cool. Making, you know, V6 as the best version of Mid Journey, obviously, but amongst all the, you know, text to image, you know, uh, uh, solutions that we have, this is probably turning into one of the best, you know. So that's where we are with Alpha. Uh, v6 now this is another example and the reason why i brought this up was it, of course it can generate and it had previously also generated great images of mount fuji with you know great reflective lake so that's what you're seeing here mount fuji with lake um, you know reflecting with pink and blue light that's exactly the kind of light uh, that we've added um, we've added some cherry blossom trees which is not natural for that place but this is where the detail and the prompt coherence comes in again look at eyes on the lake you see in the corners here there is ice on the lake there's ice here in the lake as well so it actually not only like created like what it can in previous models but takes into account the very specific details that i've added into um, the prompt so this is fantastic again the prompt is available here if you want to reuse it feel free to reuse i mean this is this is an open community <laughs> feel free to do it all right so here's another example where we have a couple smiling while sitting on a ski lift wearing orange and blue color and we want it to be realistic now one of the biggest things that i liked about this image is that it puts orange and blue uh, as clothes on each of them separately but look at the reflection in the glasses that they're wearing and look at that the woman and the man they actually have same reflection it's the same curve same angle and that's what is really really shocking and really good that not only are the images good not only are the prompt 
coherence uh, that we're seeing with the prompts really good but it considers all of these things and kind of have a uniform experience with and this is a complex photo because you have two different people in this image right and both of them are equally focused um, so that this is what it is with v6 so i hope you're liking what you're seeing so far so let's compare v5 and v6 and kind of see uh, some of these uh, in terms of how they change right so here's an example and this was the result i had actually produced in v5 where i said okay i want a 1980s medium close up woman curly blonde hair freckles vintage car and neckline right and you have two distinct photos v5 v6 gave really good image both of them look great but different settings right but here's a few misses right and what we see here in v5 is that it misses actually the freckles and neckline but in v6 it's got the freckles and necklines and the photo is way more realistic way more sharper so both are great but you know if when it comes to nailing the prompt look at which one got it it's v6 Let's look at another one that I had used previously, which was a scenic countryside landscape with fields, small hills, scattered houses, a charming small house in the center surrounded by a garden full of blooming flowers, small trees. And I said no orange trees or green trees. Now, what you can see here is that it created like an artistic image in kind of both scenarios. One looks more of a painting from an anime, but maybe a five year older anime. But what you see here is that it missed small hills scattered houses gardens of flowers you know it kind of you can see that it didn't have that but if you see this image it actually nailed the small hills obviously you can see small hills here and there uh, but we can also see that it also got scattered homes you know scattered houses and then you can see there's a really nice garden here which stretches out it's not like in this image where it's a small garden uh, here it's like a bigger garden of flowers and a bunch of flowers here and there so i feel like this one kind of nailed it uh, overall uh, but again green trees it has green trees in it so in this one i felt like there were less trees but again that i might be becoming uh, too specific here but again you can see that prompt coherence exists both images the v6 definitely got the better result all right let's look at another one now this is an example where i wanted to see do some disney you know pixar style uh, designs but the prompt is a boy in street view 3d render oc render you know best and best quality and again as i've said you don't really need to do this anymore but previously i had to do like 8k bright black uh black clothes front lighting face shot final luster those kind of things and you can see that the results in both of them one of the biggest things that you can see that it nailed is a face shot like it's more up close and it's got a fine luster and reflection on it which is good both are great images but again when it comes to the fidelity of the prompt itself i think the uh, v6 version got it better all right so let, let's look at another one all right here's another example where i said okay a box is standing in the ring and looking down celebrating cinematic and realistic right and you can see that here it seems like the boxer is looking down this was the image i generated in v5 he's looking down it is not celebrating and in cinematic realistic maybe a little bit you know but look at the image that v6 got way more sharper image this he's looking down seems like he's celebrating after punching somebody and it's more cinematic and realistic so it nailed that and that's what is the biggest difference the quality of images coming out of v6 is probably 200 percent better than what we had with v5 and that's why v6 is probably the version that i've liked so much uh, as soon as it's come out and again this is v6 alpha this is not even v6 the model uh, as we expect it to be in the final version so that's what i wanted to talk about one of the biggest features in v6 is prompt coherence or fidelity to the prompt with the results or the you know overall prompt itself is way more important now in v6 all right so let's go into some other things like the ability for the image to upscale now here are some examples right um the look at the quality of the image that i've produced after you know upscale now i know there are lots of upscaling ai tools available like magnific and Kriya has also started giving it but those are images that need some sort of an upscale here if you see this image it's already so good and the prompt that I used was a glowing hibiscus with purple background, dramatic neon backlight, 50 mm, you know, and it's a raw shot. Look at the quality, look at the depth uh, of uh, the lines. It's so much more clear. I mean, I mean, I love this image. I'm actually going to print this image and actually have it hang on one of my walls because I loved what was produced here. It's really good. 
Right. Here's another one which I love a lot. It's a baby floating in space wearing a space uh, spacesuit with neon lights glowing. Again, you can see the the image has been perfect. You know, the baby looks great. Every feature is kind of great in it. Uh and it's a cute baby, but the, look at the upscaled quality of the image. It's so good. It's so clear. Um definitely something that you can use anywhere you want, right? So it's brilliant actually. All right, so here's another one which I wanted to kind of do with a light based setting. It's a image of a pirate wearing a brown colored tricorn hat with beard and braided hair. And as you can see that it nailed again every feature that we requested it to. And he's looking uh, to the sea on a beach and he's looking to the sea. So that's what we are seeing. Uh and coconut trees in the back, sun lighting his face 50 mm. And again, this I mean prompt coherence and the ability to upscale that image to something that's this sharp and i mean fantastic i mean i i'm really really awed uh, by the results that i'm seeing so far with v6 and i know i have in the past said you know i'm not excited as much as i was with my journey with whatever was happening with dali and other uh, solutions but i definitely feel like v6 has kind of made me more excited now All right. So let's talk about now variations, which is like a really cool ability. Like you can vary the images and keep the same setting. You know, that's one of the other features that I've liked. So there is uh you know there are lots of features that we have again uh, like vary in region that's not available yet, but you can kind of have variation and coherence amongst variations is all right. So here's a base image, the image that I generated is a neon lit forest, you know, radiant moon, green and orange colors, dense pines, mountain background, starry sky, right? That's that's like a base image. And I want to create variations on top of this. but i want to keep the coherence of the image right that means whatever i have produced so far the style the colors i want it to remain as it is right and this was something that wouldn't come perfectly when we use you know v5 or v4 but here's what we are seeing i mean it's the same kind of style same colors right and now i said okay add a you know a, a vintage uh, minivan there and that's what we are seeing here the image has a minivan looks great same color same style same you know angle uh frame and here's another one where i said okay keep the same frame and add the one that you saw initially and i said add a uh, you know a vintage car so there's a difference here in terms of what i'm changing the core subject in the image but the background remains the same stylistically and look at the result it looks so good right and here's another one where i said okay just keep everything the same which is variation and add a motorbike to uh kind of in the middle as a subject right so what you're seeing here I mean, for the motorbike uh, the seat looks pretty wonky <laughs> but i'm pretty sure with a few variations we can get it right but overall look at the setting like across these four images which you see is the same setting same design uh, but the coherence to the style and what we expect it to be is the same so that's another exciting feature of v6 which i feel is really cool um now the other one which is a subtle one uh, and i know dali 3 does this really well where it uh, adds text to the images but i feel like mid journey v6 has come a leaps and bounds with what it could do before with what it's doing now so now you can actually add text and the way you add text is basically uh, by adding uh, the text that you want to add to the image in quotations you also have to make sure um, you also have to make sure that you add a hyphen hyphen style raw Uh, to the image that you're generating. Now here's an image that I produced where I said a girl in Cyberpunk City with a wall in the back, wall in the back again, prompt coherence, and neon lights. And then I'm saying Punk City, you know. So it kind of put Punk City over here. It see feels like she's in a bar here. Uh, again, great image. I mean, look at the details on it. Of course, whatever you wanted with the text that that's accurate right that's exactly what we wanted so kind of don't even look into some of these details that are wrong here but again uh, for seasoned eyes you might see some errors but for a general public and for people who are trying to see this image is really good here's another example and this was a subtle one where i wanted to take a image of a woman walking in a street like a shopping and you use an angle and you have all these different shops and all these shops have different names so i said okay i need an image where you have a shop with the name you know bags life and you can see that it's kind of has the name bags life but it's blurred out so this was really surprising for me the fact that it actually nailed the text but to keep the consistency of the image it actually blurred uh, everything or the depth of field it played with it 
but we can understand that it actually nailed uh, the text in it which is really cool i mean it's not just direct text right it's always things that we want and uh, the model kind of did a really great job of kind of bringing everything together here so i feel this really exciting that is pretty good as well all right so this is another example where i said okay generate like a building with flowers and plants scrolling coming out with a board and the board should have you know the title little garden and that's for uh, for fans of the one piece show little garden was one of those islands so I remember that i thought it will be a cool uh, homage to little garden but again you add that quotation uh, or add that little garden in quotes and it kind of nail it and great example you know so far i love it all right here's another example a little bit more easier one a boy holding a card in the street uh, with card saying free hugs you know i mean even though i didn't say the card saying free hugs when you say free hugs it's kind of understood that free hugs is what uh, you want it to kind of uh, have on the card so here is that example you can see free hugs are obviously got the spelling wrong but again um, this is way better than where we were with mid journey right so overall i think this version of the product uh or the solution is really good and it's, it's looking really awesome so far and i've been running my own test on it so we're going to see how this all keeps getting improving and very exciting times right and so i hope you've enjoyed this video so far if you want to keep up with all the craziness in ai and technology then follow my channel because i kind of put together all the craziness that i am kind of following and i'm learning so i make videos about it if you want some real time updates follow me on my twitter channel and again it's a holiday season so if i don't speak to you before christmas then happy holidays to you until i see you again stay true stay consistent